the Harold Perry Show. <laughs> And now, Harold Perry as Honest Harold, the Homemaker. Well, let's look in on the little town of Melrose Springs this crisp December evening. Honest Harold, like the rest of us, is in that pleasantly dazed holiday condition. He is just recovering from Christmas in time to build up his strength for New Year's. Right now, he's bidding goodnight to his new romance, the lovely Theodora. Oh, this has been a wonderful week, Haroldy Waroldy. Sure has, Theodora. I've seen you every night. I just love the holiday season, don't you? Yeah. I'll never forget Christmas Eve when I gave you that wristwatch. You threw yourself in my arms and kissed me. Remember? Do I? Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> but, Harold, how could we ever recapture that special moment? Christmas, the wristwatch. Well, you sing Jingle Bells and I'll start ticking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Harold. Oh, well, I guess I can wait. Tomorrow night's New Year's Eve. And you know what happens at 12 o'clock? All Lang Syne is kissing time. <laughs> Harold. Yeah. You haven't told me where we're going New Year's Eve. I want to wait and surprise you. I won't tell you till tomorrow. All right, Teddy Bear. <laughs> Theodora. Yes? How about a little kiss? Now, Harold, you'll have to wait till New Year's Eve. Uh -huh. Isn't it strange, Theodora? New Year's Eve comes at different times all over the world. Why, right now, probably, it's New Year's Eve in Honolulu. It is? Yeah. Pucker up, Theodora. Mm -hmm. Harold. Yakahula hickey doola. Doola. <laughs> Harold, you're not eating your breakfast. Huh? Well, Mother, I was just thinking about New Year's Eve party tonight and what a good time Theodora and I are going to have. Oh, I think it's nice the way you and your old friends get together and have a party every New Year's Eve. Yeah, they can have their big city swanky affairs. I bet we have a lot more fun right here in Melrose Springs at our New Year's barn dance. Yes, we love the dear hearts and gentle people that live in our hometown. That's right, Mother. We may have cider instead of champagne and play corny games like pin the tail on the donkey, but it's fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> Remember last year's party when Dr. Yancey was trying to pin the tail on the donkey mm -hmm. and he jabbed the pin in one of the guests? Yeah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was bobbing for apples, Mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Theodora thinks a barn dance is quite a novelty. Well, I haven't told her yet. I thought I'd surprise her. <laughs> oh, Harold, mm -hmm. uh, don't you think you should tell her? She might expect something fancier. You know, she's from Kansas City. Yeah. Oh. No, no, she'll love it, Mother. Well, I think no, you Say, should... I told Doc and Pete I'd help them decorate the barn this morning. I better get over there. But you ought to drop by Theodora's and let her know what she's supposed to wear tonight. Wear? Oh, I'll see you later, Mother. I'll tell her to wear a gingham dress. She'll look like Daisy May. <laughs> And I'll be your little Abner. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I pass the Kickapoo Joy Juice, son? What? <laughs> Mother. <laughs> oh, brother. See you later. <laughs> yeah, Doc and Pete should be out here in the barn. Hello, Doc, old friend. Oh, hello, Harold. <laughs> Where's Pete? Oh, he's downtown getting the bunting. The bunting? Oh, mm -hmm. say, the barn's starting to look fine, Doc. You must have done a lot of work this morning. Oh, not so much. All I did was tack up the streamers, make the sign. Okay, Doc. Mix the potato salad, buy the cider. Yeah, that's great. Slice the hot dog rolls, tune the musical chairs. <laughs> yes. Well, I bet we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. And Theodora's just going to love it. Apple bobbing, square dancing, sack racing. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, just think, maybe the two of us will be in the same sack. I didn't know you cared, Harold. <laughs> Not you, Doc. Theodora. Oh! oh. Well, happy 1951, boy. Well, hello, Pete, old pal. Did you bring the bunting? Bunting? Oh, oh, Shaw. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> oh, Pete! Well, I've been busy, boy. Don't forget, I'm chairman of the door prize committee. Did you get some good prizes, Pete? I sure did. I got the Elks to donate the grand prize. Oh? A free, all-expense-paid 90-day vacation to Charlieville. A 90-day vacation? (laughs) Won't that cost them a lot of money? No, it's just a round-trip bus ticket. You can return any time within 90 days. (laughs) Very funny, Pete. We've got to get this barn decorated. Why don't you run down now and get that bunting? Huh? All right. Oh, Harold, hey, before I go, maybe you'd like to hear Doc and me rehearse. Rehearse? Oh, I forgot to tell you, Harold. Pete and I are going to perform a little New Year's pageant at the party tonight. A pageant? Yes. I'm going to be Father Time, and Pete will be the Baby New Year. Oh, my goodness. Baby New Year. Yeah. I come out dressed in a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fellas, how about decorating the barn? At the stroke of midnight, I come out as Father Time. It's a real character part. Uh-huh. And I say, well, another 365 days have gone by. That makes you another year. No kidding. So ring out the old and ring in the new. Ring in the new. Okay, Pete. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, what was that? Aha! Tis baby New Year. Ah! <laughs> Sounds like the noon whistle at the mattress factory. Fellas, <laughs> how about... Greetings, everyone. I am Baby New Year. Ooh. I was just born. Goo, goo, goo. Goodbye. I'll see you, fellas, later. <laughs> Baby New Year. Horrible actors, but nice fellas, though. Ah, we're going to have a swell time tonight. Station cash, J.P. Just a moment, I'll connect you. Oh, good morning, Laurie. Oh, good morning, Harold. Is our dear boss, Stanley Peabody, in? Uh, yes, he is. Mm-hmm. Thought maybe I'd ask him to our barn dance tonight. He's an old prissy pants, but what the heck. It's New Year's. Because <laughs> Raymond and I are going to a party night at my girlfriend's. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she goes with a fellow in the Navy. He's a chief petting officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, you got that wrong. He's not a petting officer. Well, according to my girlfriend, he is. <laughs> oh, <my> good. <laughs> and Harold, if you want to, you can use that joke on your radio program. There's no charge. There's no joke either. <laughs> See you later, Gloria. Everybody's a comic around here. Uh, see if Stanley wants to go to the party. Come in. Oh, hello, Ham. Well, Happy New Year, Stanley, old friend. <laughs> Thank you. Hempy New Year to you. Yeah. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Hey, why don't we have a drink to that? A drink? Well, yes. um... let me pour you a glass of yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, thanks, Stanley. I'll skip this round. <laughs> Stanley, we're having our big New Year's party in Doc Yancey's barn tonight. Thought you might like to join us. In Doc Yancey's barn? Yeah. Thank you, Hemp. But I've already made my plans for tonight. Oh? I'm going to the formal dance at the Antler Hotel in the Moose Room. Everyone will be wearing tails. In the Moose Room, I guess I'll... (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it'll be quite swanky. Yeah? I'm taking Miss Abigail Turner. Uh, She's one of the Turners, you know. mm Mm-hmm. Her family came here over a hundred years ago. Yeah, she looks it. <laughs> well, sorry you can't make it, Stanley. I know Theodora and I'll have a wonderful time. You mean Theodora consented to go to this barn dance? Well, I haven't told her yet, but I know she'll love it. Oh, hemp, you fool you. Huh? Theodora's a sophisticated girl. To her, New Year's Eve means formal dress, dinner, imported champagne. Well, our cider's imported from Charlieville. <laughs> Taking Theodora to that hayseed affair. What? How can you be such a hick? <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> Cider imported from Charlieville. <laughs> ah, you kill me. I better get out of here before I take him up on that. Uh, oh, P. 
Peabody can't scare me. I bet Theodora will love that barn dance. What if it is corny? I'm a little corny myself. That's the kind of a girl I want. One I can settle down with and raise little corn muffins. <laughs> She's from a big town, though. Kansas City. They have storm drains there. Well, I'll kind of fish around and find out. Hope she's in. Who is it? It's Harold. Have a chair. I'll be right there. <laughs> what am I worried about? She's corny, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, curly lashes. Curly lashes. <laughs> Hello, Theo. Oh, I bet you came over to tell me where you're taking me tonight. Well, you see... Come on now, tell Theodora. Uh, Theodora, how about playing a little game first? Uh, we played spin the bottle the last time you were here. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I brought the loaded bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a word game and called association, Theodora. You find out what the other person is thinking. Oh. I mention a word to you and you say whatever it makes you think of. Are you ready? Well, all righty. Good. Uh, New Year's Eve. Fake and under glass. Oop. <laughs> You're having hot dogs under relish. <laughs> uh, let's try it again, huh? New Year's Eve. Champagne in a bucket. <laughs> We're having seven up in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> try it once more. New Year's Eve. Swanky supper club. Oop. White tie and tails. Zeef. <laughs> Maybe I can trap her. Uh, barn dance. Tennessee Ernie. Zoink. <laughs> now, Harold, tell me, where are you taking me tonight? Uh, antler room. I mean, antler hotel. Moose room. I'll be the third moose from the right. <laughs> <laughs> We'll return for the second act of our story, Honest Harold, in just a moment. Have you seen who's joining Bing Crosby on a show tonight? It's Dinah Shore, Louis Armstrong, and Jack Teagarden. That's just a little later this evening over most of these same CBS stations, the Bing Crosby Show. And now, back to Honest Harold, the Homemaker. Well, it looks as though Honest Harold's Happy New Year isn't going to be so happy. For the first time, he isn't going to see the New Year in with his old friends. Instead, he has talked himself into stepping out at the Antler Hotel to make an impression on the lovely Theodora. It's afternoon now, and we find Harold dejectedly returning home. Uh, how am I going to tell Doc and Pete I'm not coming to the barn dance tonight? Fine friend I turned out to be. I'm a cad. Deserting him on New Year's Eve. Running around in moose tails. Is that you, Harold? I don't know, Mother. Well, did you see Theodora? Yeah, I did. Is she happy about where you're taking her tonight? Oh, yeah, she's very happy. Oh, you two will have a wonderful time. And maybe Theodora will pin the tail on the donkey. She did. <laughs> oh, Harold. You just got a phone call from Dr. Yancey. From Doc? Yes, he thought your feelings might be hurt because you're not in the pageant tonight. Wasn't that sweet of him? <laughs> <laughs> I can just see the three of you at your New Year's party tonight, your arms around each other singing, Should old acquaintance be forgotten Mother. and never brought to mind. <laughs> Mother, please, you're flat. Shut up! Oh, mother! Uh, I guess I better drop in and tell Pete I can't come tonight. Might as well get it over with. He'll understand, I think. Hello, Pete. Howdy, boy. Yeah, Pete, uh... Harold, if you want to take my part in the pageant tonight, it's okie-dokie with me, old friend. Here's my ribbon. Oop. <laughs> well, thanks, Pete. 
peep. But... You'd make an awful cute baby New Year. <laughs> it's an easy part to learn, boy. Four lines and three goos. <laughs> well, that's nice of you, goo, uh, Pete. But you see, I, I can't come tonight. I'm going to the formal dance at the Antler Hotel. What? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> You're going to the Antler Hotel, and I'm Margaret Truman. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, uh, Pete, I... You'd like to hear me sing a cadenzi, boy? <laughs> Pete, you don't understand. You're going to the Antler Hotel tonight. Ain't that a doozy? <laughs> Pete, this is no doozy. I'm really going there tonight. I'm taking Theodora. Oh. Pete, I'm really awfully sorry. I, I just couldn't help it. Sure, boy. You know I really want to be with you fellas. Sure, boy. Harold, it's a good thing I ain't Margaret Truman. I'd tell my father on you. <laughs> yeah, I guess Doc's in the barn here. Certainly hate to tell him about tonight. Well, I gotta do it. Oh, there he is. Oh, my goodness, he's got his pet goat with him. Wonder if Pete's told him I'm not coming. Uh, hello, Doc. Good afternoon, Mr. Amp. Oop, Pete told him, all right. <laughs> Doc, I'd like to explain. How does this bunting look up here? Oh, uh, looks swell, Doc. I was speaking to Arthur, my goat. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Arthur, what would you think of a man who deserted his old friends on New Year's Eve? <laughs> Sure bleated a bib full, Arthur. <laughs> Doc, will you listen to me? If you don't mind, I'm very busy right now. Arthur, do you like the way I've hung the bunting? <laughs> well, that's very sweet of you, thank you. Doc, I want to come. Arthur, I bet you wouldn't desert your fellow goats and try to horn into high society. Horn in? Now, wait a minute. No, sir. You wouldn't be off somewhere dining on caviar. You'd be right here with your old friends munching tin cans. Doc, I'd munch tin cans. I mean, I'd like to be here with you fellas tonight. You know that, don't you? Doc, old friend, don't you believe me? Say something. <laughs> Not you, Arthur. <laughs> that was me, Harold. And that was me. Goodbye. Are you having a good time, Harold? Oh, sure. Moose Room is very nice. Wonder what the fellows are doing at the barn dance. You waltz beautifully. Yeah, thank you, Theodora. It's a good thing. Guess it's all that orchestra knows. They played 3 o'clock in the morning three times. It's only 9.15. Uh, uh, what a finish. Well, should we go back to our table? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, sort of a quiet crowd for New Year's Eve, isn't it? Yes, it is. Look at that fellow in the corner there with a big chin. He has moved for an hour. <laughs> Harold, that's a stuffed moose. <laughs> I thought he was sitting kind of high. <laughs> Harold, uh, are you sure you're having a good time? Good time? Oh, sure. I'm having... Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Stanley Peabody coming with his girl. I don't want to get stuck with prissy pants. I'll duck down so he won't see me. Oh, Harold. Oh, hello, Theodora. Him. Oop. What are you doing under the table? Uh, under the table? Uh, um, I was looking for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like Stanley brought the thing with him. <laughs> May I present Miss Abigail Turner, Miss Theodora, and Mr. Harold Hemp. How do you do? Uh, how, how do you do? do? Oh, I have a wonderful idea. Why don't Abigail and I sit at your table? Well, let me... Yes, you sit here, Abby Dabby. Abby Dabby sounds like a candy bar. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll sit here. Just think, the four of us will spend the whole evening together. Yeah, I am thinking. Well, shall we get into the festive mood? I think I'll blow my horn. <laughs> Whoopee! <laughs> Come on, Theodora. Hemp, laugh and be gay. <laughs> oh, brother. Are you feeling merry, Abigail? Oh, yes, I feel so New 
here's easy. I feel like singing that new popular song. Oh? Oh, the music goes round and round. Oh, how, 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 how. You know, uh, Abigail is a debutante. Came out in 39. Yeah, probably hasn't been out since. <laughs> What is it? Don't look so glum. Say something to our guest. Oh, yes. Uh, having a good time, Abigail? <laughs> I said, are you having a good time, Abigail? The music goes round and round. Oh, how, 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 on, Abby Dabby. Well, I asked the question. How do you get down from an elephant? I don't know, Abigail. How do you get down from an elephant? You don't get down from an elephant. You get down from a duck. Stanley, not in my face. Three o'clock in the morning. I love that piece. Yeah, the orchestra must love it, too. Well, Theodora, should we dance? Uh, Hemp, suppose I have this dance with Theodora and you and Abigail can get better acquainted. But... Come on, Theodora. Well, all right. But... Excuse us, please. Theodora, do you like to twirl? Oh, Mr. Hemp, isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah, the music goes around and around. Oh. Well, it's almost midnight. Shall we unfold our paper hats? I ate mine. It was better than the chicken. <laughs> Did you say it was almost midnight? Almost. Oh, wonder what the fellows are doing at the barn dance. Oh, the orchestra is getting ready to play, Stan. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Abigail. Shall we dance this one? Oh, I'd love to. Excuse us, please. Uh, certainly. Harold. Yes, Theodora? You don't seem very happy tonight. Happy? Oh, sure, I'm very happy. Music goes round and round. Oh, Harold, will you excuse me for a moment? I want to speak to a friend over there. Of course. Go right ahead, Theodora. I'll be right back. Gee, what a clam bake. What a way to spend New Year's Eve. With Stanley Peabody instead of my old friends. Should have told Theodora about the barn dance. Let's face it, honest Harold, you're a weakling. <laughs> well, they do know another song. <laughs> Why does it have to be that one? Gee, what I'd give the world to see that old gang of mine I can't forget that old quartet that sang sweet Adeline goodbye forever old fellows and gals goodbye forever Oh, sweethearts and pals, God bless them. Gee, but I'd give the world to see that old gang of mine. Yeah, that's where I ought to be, with my old gang, with Pete and Doc and Arthur the Goat. And that's where I'm going, right now. Why, Harold, what's the matter? Theodora, I'm sorry, but I'm going. Going where? To the barn dance. Should have gone there in the first place. But I knew you wouldn't want to go to a corny party like that. Oh, Harold, why didn't you ask me? Huh? I wondered why you wanted to come here instead of spending New Year's with your friends. You did? And I'd love to go to your barn dance. You would? Well. Oh, Ham. Oh, Stanley. Ah. Whoopee! New Year's comes but once a year. You said it, and we're not going to spend it here. Come on, Theodora. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
hope we're in time, Theodore. Must be almost 12 o'clock. Yes. Here's the barn. Sounds kind of quiet in there. Oh, they're doing the pageant. Come on. Ah, what was that? His baby New Year. Yeah, good old Doc. <clears throat> His baby New Year. Pete. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at Pete in that ribbon. Isn't that cute? In that costume. I was, yeah. Hi, Harold. Hi, Pete, old friend. My hair. Hello, Doc. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Why, it wouldn't have been New Year's without you, would it, Pete? It sure wouldn't, boy. Thanks. I really missed you, fellas. Say. Oh, it's 12 o'clock, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year, Harold. Happy New Year, boy. Happy New Year, fellas. Happy New Year, Theodora. Mm. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, Arthur, but I'm not going to kiss you. Well, it's time for old Lang Syne. Okay, come on, fellas. You take the ten apart, Arthur. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to I know that all of you listening in tonight are anxious to hear about our Operation Santa Claus venture to Travis Air Force Base and what happened to the thousands of gifts you sent in. I have a wire from Colonel Kelly, commanding officer, that I'd like to read to you. Quote, Your recent gratifying personal appearance at Travis Air Force Base will long be remembered by all who saw you. Your bright laughter and good cheer to the men who needed it most, wounded Korean veterans in the base hospital, and combat-ready servicemen bound overseas. Your huge store of gaily wrapped gifts which you personally distributed to the war-wounded and the outbound troops was especially appreciated and will not soon be forgotten. As commanding officer, I wish to take this opportunity of expressing through you my heartfelt gratitude to all the kindly people, your radio listeners, who made those thousands of gifts possible. Again, thanks to you and your troop, Harold Perry, for an appearance that brought the true spirit of Christmas to Travis Air Force Base. Joe W. Kelly, Colonel, United States Air Force Commanding. Unquote. I wish it were possible to thank all you personally for your gifts to the boys, being able to make them a bit happier on Christmas was the most wonderful experience of my life. Thanks again from the bottom of my heart, and a happy new year to you all. You have just heard the Harold Perry Show, Honest Harold. The supporting players tonight included Mari Alden, Jane Morgan, Parley Bear, Olin Soleil, and Mary Jane Cross, and featured Gloria Holliday as Gloria and Joseph Kearns as old Doc Yak Yak. Norman MacDonald directed, and the music was composed and conducted by Jack Meekin. Pretty too, wasn't it? Honest Harold, created by Harold Perry, was written by Gene Stone, Jack Robinson, and Dick Powell. Good writers. Yes, and remember, the Rose Bowl game between Michigan and California will be broadcast Next Monday, New Year's Day, exclusively over most of these same CBS stations. Stay tuned now for the Bing Crosby Show, which follows immediately on most of these same CBS stations. This is Roy Rowan speaking. <laughs> this is CBS, where you thrill to suspense on Thursday night, the Columbia Broadcasting System. 